Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and in the shop. Uh, today is going to be interesting. Um, so if anybody that does woodworking, they know the name Festool. It's a big green tool. Uh, it's very expensive. They're very good quality tools. Um, I personally now have one. I bought probably about a month ago um, the uh, 1500 Domino with a whole bunch of accessories and a whole bunch of dominoes. And I bought it used, but still works great. Flawless, I think. Uh, whatever. So I am now. I like Festool. I always have. It's just I hated the price. Um, this might be a little interesting. So, if anybody knows, again, woodworking, they know what uh, the Festu Rotex is. And it's a dual speed sander, five inch, six inch, two different sizes. And if you put it on the direct drive, it hogs away massive amounts of material. So if you have like a big step or whatever, just put it in that mode, just takes it right out. Instead of buying a Rotex, so I bought myself a two-speed sander, but it's not a Rotex. It's actually a Bosch. This is, what is this one? This is the Bosch GET 75-6. And this is a two-speed sander. So the one speed is the orbital, where this will kind of shimmy shimmy back and forth and then you put it in <laughs> it's funny how they say turbo mode and it goes direct drive not oscillating and just hogs I've used this thing for probably about six months or so and this thing is pretty cool um, the only downside to putting it in turbo mode well number one it weighs a little bit so does the Rotex, Rotex Got a little bit of weight, a little bit of technology in it. Um, but this one, when you put it in turbo mode, you have to be careful on how, because it'll jump. So, I don't know how to explain it other than um, this, a regular Rotex in Canada is over a thousand bucks. Canadian. This I bought off Amazon for just over 400. So a little bit of stats, it's seven and a half amps. And what is the rotations? 3300 regular, I believe it's 7200 direct drive. So there's not much else I can say about this. It works great. Other than a little bit of bouncing in turbo mode. Once you get used to the weight factor, um, it actually works pretty good. In oscillating mode, it works great. You can hold it by the head and just direct it where you need it and it's great. So <clears throat> for someone that's on a budget, you can have buy this and get two tools in one. The only downside is you got to deal with this as far as weight on a constant basis. So, all depends. I like it. I have used it for quite some time. Um,
So a few of the features, variable speed on the back, but let's be honest, who buys a sander for variable speed? It's all out or nothing. Uh, comes with this little dust port thing, so you can have your hoses out of the way. If you don't want that, you can just go like this. This comes off, a little button right here, and then you can have your dust port right off this. I don't mind this because I don't know, I just don't mind it. Um, handle, standard. Then you got your turbo speed, and then your on off. So in regular oscillating, you have this. Turbo. Like I said, it's a little on the loud side. So when I use it, I usually put earmuffs on or music or whatever. Um, like I said, this could give Festool a run for the money as far as a cheaper option. So it's not a pri pr proprietary thing that Festool has the two, two speed because they have it, obviously. And I think it's a decent option for people on a budget that need a sander that can hog away whatever mistakes anything so I just wanted to make this video to let people know if they didn't know that there are options other than big green I like big green I did this because I found it and I don't want to pay a thousand dollars for a sander I already paid 700 and change for another sander which I'll debut at some point I'm giving it a little bit more time to run it through its paces um, this one I have run through its paces for quite some time and it works great other than you have to get used to the skippy now it, it helps to have a Cubitron sandpaper on it so I did an entire 2x4 table front and back on just one thing and it's still it's got, still got grip to it so that's about it I have um, there's no comparison I don't have a Rotex to do apples to apples comparison um, if somebody wants to send me a Rotex I'll do an apples to apples comparison but as of right now I don't have a I don't have disposable income to do head-to-head -head battles on sanders and everything I did one on my planer but I'm selling one planer so whatever um, that's all I have I like the sander works pretty good and it's a good option for two-speed so if you like this video give me a thumbs up smash the like subscribe all that fun jazz and hope everyone's good and I'll see you next time